Welcome to our tutorial about setting up your MIDI hardware. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to make connections between your MIDI equipment and your computer. First of all, be sure to make your connections with all of your equipment turned off. In order to create or play a MIDI recording, you must have a MIDI sound module. This can be external hardware like a keyboard or a synthesizer. It needs to be connected to your computer through a MIDI interface. Most professional audio interfaces, like the sound card you use for audio recording, include the necessary MIDI connections. If you take a look at the back of your audio interface, you will probably see MIDI in and out ports. Each pin has a function, either communicating data or grounding the signal, etc. MIDI devices often have three ports, and they look something like this. In, out, and through. The MIDI in port brings data in from somewhere else, like from your keyboard to your audio hardware. This is how you record MIDI data, transferring it from your keyboard into Cubase. The in port lets your keyboard control the audio hardware. You plug a MIDI cable from the out port of your keyboard to the in port on your sound card. The MIDI out port allows your sound card to be the controller, like from your sound card back to your keyboard. This is how you play back recorded MIDI data through your synthesizer. Plug a MIDI cable from your sound card's MIDI out port to your keyboard's MIDI in port. Some equipment has a third port called MIDI through. This sends a copy of the data received at the MIDI in port to another MIDI device in a MIDI chain. It doesn't control anything, it's just a connector. You use a MIDI through port, for example, to connect another MIDI sound module back to your keyboard. In the past, you wouldn't hear anything while you played or recorded MIDI unless you connected your keyboard to an external monitor or routed it through your audio hardware interface. And that's because MIDI is not sound, it's data. Cubase has a MIDI through feature, however, which lets you hear the correct sound from your sound module while you're recording. A typical MIDI setup might look like this. MIDI out on the keyboard to MIDI in on the audio interface. MIDI out on the audio interface to MIDI in on the keyboard. Audio outputs from the audio interface to your monitor. Audio inputs from your gear and microphone to the audio interface. Firewire or USB connection to your computer if the audio hardware is external. Internal audio hardware still has these ports, though. And the hub of Cubase in your computer managing the whole show. You can use multiple sound sources. If that's the case, it's a good idea to use an interface with more than one output or a separate MIDI through box that I show you here, instead of the through jacks on each unit of your connection chain. On a Macintosh, you need to configure the audio MIDI setup utility that comes with the OS X operating system. It's in your Applications Utilities folder. Or you can get to it from Setup, Edit MIDI Studio. Click the MIDI Devices tab. The AMS utility scans your system for connected MIDI interfaces. If your interface is properly connected, it'll appear in the window with each of its ports showing in and out arrows where you'll make your connections. If you don't see your MIDI interface, you might need to check the interface instructions or a driver reinstall, for example, a simple reboot, perhaps. Let's say I want to add my keyboard, a Korg Triton. Click Add Device. The new external device icon appears. Now connect the new device to your MIDI interface. Just click the arrow on the output and cable it to the input arrow. Then connect the output port on your MIDI interface to the input of the synth. Now double click the new device to open its properties window. Select a manufacturer and model, but if nothing matches, just type in a new name. Now we enable the channels for sending and receiving MIDI data. You choose one channel for transmitting data and up to 16 for receiving data. When you're finished, click Apply. Now my Triton will be available as an input or output selection on MIDI tracks. 
MIDI can be a very complex and exciting tool that puts a musical universe at the home studio musician's fingertips. For more information on working with MIDI, please see our tutorials later in this course and in my course on music recording, mixing, and mastering. This concludes our lesson about how to set up your MIDI hardware for recording.